NAB, AFL Rising Star. He was Hawthorne's prized draft pick at number nine. And the early signs from Josh Wards are nothing short of electrifying. 34 disposals, six clearances, five tackles and 618 metres gained in game number nine. Those are a beautiful set of numbers. He's an overachiever too. And it is our great pleasure to meet this week's rising star nominee, Josh Ward. Josh, good to have you here. Thanks, Jared. Good to be here. Bit of lead footy, studying law, an internship. You've got it all going on. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit going on at the moment. I'm struggling to find the time actually to get the law degree done. I haven't quite managed to get that going yet, but um, yeah, no, it's all good fun. Why yeah. did it come together for you on the weekend? I follow you closely because you've been on my bench and super coach <laughs> for 18 weeks. And I'm thinking, you haven't okay, traded me out. No, I haven't, mate. I haven't traded you out. I've got a lot of faith in you. And I saw on the weekend why I put you in from the start of the year. Why did it really come together for you? On, on Sunday? Um, I think just keeping at it, like the ball sort of seemed to come my way, but I think it came off the back of a lot of, lot of work, um, a lot of watching vision with Sam in particular and Andrew Collins at the Hawks as well. Um, they've been huge for me learning how to play that wing role because as a junior I always played inside mid, so it's been a bit of a change playing on the wing, but um, yeah, it's just come off the back of a lot of hard work. Um, and yeah, it's, it was good to get How the frustrating is it when you think, oh, it's, it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening, and they say, keep working harder, keep, keep working harder, it'll come. Yeah. When it finally comes, you think, Mitchell and Andy Collins, they, they were right. Yeah, they were right. They yeah, were right was, all the way. It was a bit of a frustrating, I guess, um, few months at the start of the year. I'd, obviously, I was thrilled to be playing games, but um, yeah, personally, I wasn't particularly happy with how I played, and then, um, you know, missed a few games throughout the middle of the year with a concussion. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a up and down period, but um, one thing Sam always says is it's never as good or as bad as it seems. And um, yeah, it was really gratifying to finally play a, play a decent game um, on the weekend. So good it was good. From October, November, when you, you know you're going to get drafted and you're wondering what it's going to be like to July, where you've had the, the lengthy taste of it. How does the reality marry up with the idea of what league footy is going to be for you? Yeah, I'm not really sure what it was going to be like, to be honest. Um, but it's been it's been everything I could have hoped for, really. Um, just loving loving being at the Hawks. We've got a great um, young group. Like I'm getting, we all get along so well. The guys I got drafted with, and all the young boys in particular, um, and the senior players like uh, Big Boy, Gunners, Punky, and Puff as well. Just uh, been so good for my development and all our development. So I'm yeah, absolutely loving it. So seeing that footage of you back and back into space and you got taken out would hurt, but you got back up. You just say you're an inside mid, but we know, or I've been told, that you've got an enormous engine. So you're quite a unique player. You might, you got the, you got the run of a wingman, but you've got the the um, the football now of being an inside mid. Where do you think, or where would you hope to to end up? Yeah, I definitely see myself as an inside mid. Um, in the end, I think my um, yeah, my running ability would just help that. Um, but yeah, I'm like a running, running bull. You could be. <laughs> well, did you Not win sure the time trial first week at the club? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I was lucky to. Uh, I think the three three one k sort of suited me more than a two k. I was able to recover pretty well, I think. But um, so you're a yeah. long distance runner, middle distance. What what what? Is, what's your... uh, I always did middle distance at school, so 800 was my main one. Um, didn't quite have the guts for a three k or something like that. But um, yeah, really enjoy the 800, and I think that, think that's helped so far. Last one. I like asking about your parents. Where where did where did you get your your ball? Skills from was it, did your mum play netball, tennis, dad footy? What was um, what was your family background? Yeah, definitely not my parents. So, <laughs> sorry, mum and dad, but that'll make your weekly highlight. They're responsible for the law degree, that side of things. Yeah, I think that's where that comes from. Dad, I think um, played footy up until about under twelves, um, so that was the end of his decorated career. And then, um, yeah, mum uh, she played a bit of tennis at school, I think, but that was about it. But um, my great grandpa played for Hawthorne, so maybe that's right, where I get a okay. bit of footy from. Yeah. Skip the generation. Yeah, skipped a, a few couple. generations. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see it reemerge. Great Josh, story, mate. It's great to meet you. The very best of luck with your journey, not just on the field, but off as well. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Rob. Well done, Josh. Good on you.